Toro on Saturday. They are hip and half in it right now and they are like one of the hotter uh, sushi places in the GTA right now. So they have cut off times for their takeout. They have like only so many orders that they can do in a day. We thought that we can order at 4 p.m. for 6 p.m. and it just didn't happen. So we just ordered for Sunday instead. This is the receipt. We ordered $80 worth of sushi. We got the lobster tower, the forbidden, the fantasy, a buri butterfish oshi, a buri uh, maguru oshi, and then a karaje poki. That's what we got. Wow, look, this is why we paid so much money. Do you want a knife or something? Wow, so this is the the lobster tower, it has 24 karat gold on the top. Okay, continue. This is the karaje. All right, so this I think is the fantasy and then the forbidden, I think. Wow, the packaging on this is like excellent. It's like Christmas. Last little present box. Toro, Toro. Ah, Buri. Okay. Wow, if there's gold on this too. This sushi was probably, I'm gonna say it's expensive, um, but not the most expensive. It's somewhere kind of in the middle. It's very similar to Torch, but I think, sorry Torch, it does it a lot better than Torch. Um, but then it's not quite in the same category as like Project Fish or uh, is it Kiku or Q? They're a buri to other places a buri. I think this place, I don't really want to make a recommendation say that they're the best, but of all the sushi that I can remember in the last little bit that we've had, dare I say it, Toro Toro. You did very, very, very well. Um, their buri is definitely going to stick in my mind as being very delicious. Mm. I was getting made right with the butterfish In terms of their rolls, I mean they're like mediocre. I don't know if they're like they're ten dollars. I don't know if I pay any more than that for them. Um that lobster roll. It's not even a roll. That lobster tower, delicious. Um I would definitely like that's one of those things that if you're trying to impress someone you buy them that uh, 24 karat gold flake lobster tower. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Your favorite one? Mm, no, I think it's still this with this one. Mm. Can you taste the 14 karat gold? No. Oh, 24 karat gold? No. Many a day I was saying to Aside from that, the presentation of this place is very it's very beautiful. They have like individualized boxes, which um my zero waste heart hates that, but uh, aesthetically so pleasing. Um opening every single box like it's a present, like it's beautiful. The Courage de Pokey was also really good. I think that could be a standalone meal if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper like that. You could get that in like a side of edamame or something and I think you'd be set. Um, does it have edamame in it? I don't think so. I realized while filming this that I didn't have a clear end. So here it is, the bottom line. Will I go back to Toro Toro? Yes. Yes, I will definitely go back to Toro Toro. I think their food was delicious, the presentation was great, and there's a few things on the menu that I would still like to try. Will Toro Toro become my everyday go-to? No. Toro Toro will not replace my weekly everyday sushi place. Toro Toro doesn't replace your cheap sushi places, and it also doesn't replace your expensive sushi places. I feel like it has that nice middle ground where if you're trying to impress someone, 24 karat gold on your lobster tower, definitely gonna impress someone. If you've made it to the end of this video, my name's Christine from Fine Christine, and thank you so much for sitting with me through this. Um, I hope you guys check out Toro Toro, and I hope that you guys hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.